Some of the biggest concerns that heavy rain with the high tide and of course the storm surge. And as Dorian approaches the South Carolina coast, animal shelters preparing for the worst. So for a couple days now, they've been trying to shift animals to other shelters to make sure they can give the ones on the coast really a fighting chance. Some animals were brought into Greenville from the coast before the storm and many others are being sent up north, so they just have room to take in more once Dorian passes. Fox Carolina's Kayla Convoy joins us live in the newsroom tonight and Kayla. Now the goal is really to find these dogs and cats their forever homes. That's exactly right. Now is actually the calmest time. Up to this point, shelters were working to make space for the animals that will be displaced. And once Dorian moves through, the hard work to rescue those left behind begins. Today is a big day for these guys. They are getting loaded up, heading to Chicago, clear of the storm with the opportunity for a new life. These animals have been in either Greenville County for a while or down at the coast for a while, already adoptable. So then by moving them to other shelters that are, are far away and have space, they're putting new eyes on them. Which means their chance for adoption goes up. It's all part of a bigger process to make sure no animal gets turned away. The big thing is this allows us to clear the shelters that either will be impacted from floodwaters or storm surge, but also for the ones that aren't impacted by that, it clears them out. Which means there is room down there for displaced animals to get medical treatment. And some shelters like the Greenville Humane Society and Greenville Animal Care are already taking in animals. We're 50% over capacity today with this new intake, but that's what you do if you love your animals and want to give them a good chance. Local shelters have partnerships across the southeast, but say most of the coast's animals will likely end up in Greenville. This reminds us very much of Hurricane Matthew, where the storm sat on the coast and Hurricane Florence. So we did this last year too. But those animal lovers say the extra work is well worth it in the end. Actually, my own dog came from Hurricane Maria. And the Greenville Humane Society just took in 50 animals, most of them adult dogs. And in an effort to make more room, they have lowered the price on adult dog adoption. So it's just $35 right now. And these shelters also want to remind people not to leave their dogs behind, not to tether them or leave them chained up, saying you're only putting their lives at risk. Tori, yeah, back to you. That is so true.